Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav Agrawal and today I am going to talk about our solution Code Genie. But before that, let's discuss, uh, let's discuss what is the problem. On an average, an Indian IT organization spends around $300 and 50 hours per employee on training and development. On top of it, an, India, an IT organization spends around 35 to 40% of their total budget in development and maintenance. But wait, we have not got this many problems. We have more problems as well. Most of the developers end up exploring irrelevant results when they try to find some solutions. And also due to the repetitive task, uh, their, their efficiency is getting lowered day by day. And this is impacting, uh, this is causing the high development cost and it is impacting the scalability. So how to deal with this, all these problems? To tackle all these problems, we have got our solution, Code Genie. More about it later, that what is Code Genie and everything. Let's directly jump into the demo. Yeah, so our team has created this website. This is for ServiceNow admins and ServiceNow developers. They can go to this, uh, our conversational interface virtual agent and there they can provide uh, there they can provide their queries their problem statement and in response uh, our virtual agent our code genie is going to provide them the solution so let's take one problem statement on an average a developer takes around six to eight hours um, a, a normal developer takes around six to eight hours to develop one sign up form along with some other validations Okay, uh, so let's uh, and let's see how much time our code genie is going to take to uh, solve this problem. Yeah, uh, here we have provided a, a problem statement which contains uh, we have asked our code genie to create one sign up form with first name, last name, email ID, and whatnot. Along with this, we have asked it to create some validations as well. Now let's see. Uh, how it is going to provide that solution and whether it is going to provide the solution or not. Uh, as I have already said that on an average a developer takes six to seven hours to just build one uh, login form. So yeah, we can see that it has processed our request and uh, we have our solution ready. So when we uh, go to that, so we have been directed to this particular page. This page contains of the three sections. First is the first is the caution. So what is the caution uh, here? This is the query that that has been asked by the user or the developer. And here we have got the steps to follow to solve this problem in ServiceNow context. So uh, this can be used to uh, this can be used by developers to educate themselves, and this can cover our learning and development problem that we have discussed before. Our problem statements. Here on the right, we have got coding results, and uh, this can be directly used to generate the page that that uh, that has been requested by the user. But you must be wondering that this solution or these type of solution and code generators are hundreds available in the market. So what we are di doing different in here? So we have got one magic button in here. Let's go to the bottom, and this is the magic button that we have got. It is not only providing us the steps and uh, creating the coding results, it is also providing the record. It's just generating the record as well. So when we click on the open record, okay, so we have got this form readily available. This form, it has not only, uh, this is not a form along with all the fields that we have asked for and yeah, it has provided the styling as well. It has done its own styling. Uh, now let's quickly fill these fields. First name, last name, email, mobile number. So this is the, uh, these are all the fields that was asked by the user or the query that we have provided. Okay, now let's uh, take some random password. Okay, uh, are you seeing this? So it has not only created all these fields, it has also provided the validations here. And it has provided the perfect validations that password should match the appropriate thing. Okay, so the standard password correction. Yeah. 
now let's enter the password the appropriate password and let's submit it okay so here you can see that our fully functional that our form was fully functional and it has once we have submitted that form it has redirected us to a different website this is the infobeans website that we have been redirected to so this is the whole solution which is decreasing the effort so the time that developer is going to take 6 to 7 hours to for creating the same sign up form we have just created in two or three steps so we can say the two to three minutes it has decreased it has increased the efficiency of the development and the developers to 60 to 70 percent yeah we have seen what was there in the front end but now let's check out what was going in the back end okay what has been created in the back end here you can see and you can verify by the updated timestamp that this record has just been created by our uh, code genie so let's go to the record this is the page record that has been created in the service now instance and here you can see the code files that it has generated it has not only created the page it has generated the code files as well along with the widget so let's quickly go to the widget and here you can see the all the code that has been provided that has been uh, there and which has created the particular sign up form this all has been created in two to three minutes okay so that was our demo and now let's go to what is code genie so code genie is an automation tool which we have built for service now developers and service now admins it uh, which can uh, it is being used by them to uh, to automate their repetitive tasks and to increase their productivity in the process it uh, it is going to also optimize their whole development thing okay uh, so, so now let's come to the construction component that how we have built this code genie first of all we have got a virtual agent this is the conversational interface that we have seen in the demo uh, through which user goes in and puts their queries after that we have got the open ai this is the powerful engine that we are using in the back end to generate the codes and steps to follow the third one is the service portal this is the interface where user can come and provide their queries okay so the fourth thing is service now api so what this is doing this is binding all these three elements and this is what we are calling our prompt processor now let's see all, how all these four are working yeah so here you can see here you can see yeah first of all this we have virtual agent this is working as a user interface here user will come and provide their problem statement after that our prompt processor is going to process that and it is going to uh, provide it to open ai basically prompt processor is processing the query that has been provided by the user and and making it readily available for the open ai to process and after that open ai is going to respond and provide their responses to the prompt processor again our prompt processor is going to process it and make it human readable and convert it to the steps and the code after that yeah it will go again in the virtual agent and uh, uh, provide that solution what are our use cases so first of all we have already seen in the demo that we can create web pages and widgets the second thing is we are create we can we can create catalog items with this so service now developers and service now admins know what we are talking about here and also uh, it can create client scripts and server side scripts along with the business rules what are our mission in the future okay so we are going to uh, so you have seen that we are already working on uh, creating the widgets and pages but in the future we are targeting to automate the testing by providing the test scripts and also the the toughest part the integration service now integrations we are going to build that and also the workflows so these are the future missions that we are going to handle thank you hope you have liked our solution and i'm sure that you are going to use this solution as well